congratulations to Dom. I, I had the opportunity to see him firsthand this summer a little bit. And he's an impressive player. So I wish we had him, but we've got a pretty good one too. So um, this past weekend we played down in Pleasantville, New York, uh, at Lewis <coughs> University. It was a, a tough place to play, and, and whenever you play there, you hope it doesn't rain um, because <coughs> the grass down there is tough. And, uh, our luck, it, it rained pretty hard the night before and rained off and on during the day. So uh, we had a pretty muddy surface. Uh, we were obviously able to pull up the win. Uh, it wasn't an easy win. Um, Pace came out and scored. Uh, right away they had a big kick return for about 60 yards and, and brought the ball down to around the 40. Scored on their first possession of the game and made it quickly 7 to nothing. Um, we were able to bounce back on, on our second play in, in our first possession on a, a long touchdown pass by Andy uh, to tie it up 7-7. Seven to seven. Um, They scored again a little bit later, and then we responded. It was 14-13 to 13 at the half um, with the field conditions getting worse and worse. And, and uh, we were really struggling to run the ball, um, so we, we opened it up a little bit, and, and um, we were able to um, – Passed the ball early in the second half. We scored in our first possession. Um, moved the ball pretty well, and, and uh, we still weren't able to run the ball. So we, we stuck to the passing game, and, and uh, Pace responded every time we scored. Um, we opened up a two-touchdown lead at times, and they would come back and, and score right away. So it was, it was an interesting game. Not a game that you would really expect in those conditions. Um, a high-scoring game and a, and a tough surface and a little bit of rain. but. That's the direction the game went in, and um, we're able to put some things together and, and uh, make some big plays. Um, defensively, uh, we struggled, but we were led by our, our senior linebacker again, Dustin Zitzman. Uh, he had a 10-tackle game. He's play, been playing real well for us all season. And, and uh, one of our D linemen, Terry Stanford uh, from New Jersey, was able to um, get a big sack for us. But um, the highlight of the game, and, and um, someone I want to introduce here, uh, is this week's Cold Helmet Award winner. Um, our quarterback, Andy Kupek, um, had a 25 for 31 uh, day, 343 yards passing and five touchdowns, uh, which was very impressive. Uh, he was able to spread the ball out pretty well, but uh, Mark Gately of Waltham uh, had three touchdown receptions in the game. Uh, and Dave Candy of Narragansett had two touchdown receptions of the game. Uh, but it was really Andy making the right decisions and, and uh, he got himself in position to have a great game. So this week's um, Bull Helmet Award winner uh, is Andy Kupek. Thank you very much. This is, uh, this is great. Uh, didn't really expect to be here. Um, it was nice to be able to make the plays when I had to. And it makes it easy when you have a great running back in the backfield and have to spy him. And, Got some great receivers and make some good plays. So we got a good win. We're gonna get another win at Mary Mac. So sounds good. Thank you very much. Um, what did I say that there? Uh, Mary Mac coach play. <laughs> um, you know, I I wish it would be that easy to say, and that happened. Uh, we're playing Merrimack this week, who's arguably um, the best team in the conference right now. They're they're playing tremendous. Uh, offensively, you know, we're trying to figure out how the heck to stop them. Um, I think Bentley did a pretty good job against them this past week. Uh, but they've got um, a phenomenal quarterback, uh, James Suazo, uh, a, a running back, Anthony Smalls. That's equally as impressive. And a receiver from Westwood, Chris Laham, uh, who seems to find a way to get behind coverages every week. So um, we've got our hands full. Uh, this is a huge test for us. Um, Merrimack's playing tremendous right now. Uh, my, my defense coordinator and myself, and we're, we're pretty nervous about what we have coming to us this week because it's, they're, they're playing incredibly well. Um, and defensively, they've got some great athletes. Um, you know, one of their defensive ends, this Jardins, number 55, really flies around. Uh, Shane Brown, number eight, is a, a great player, and, and I think they've got some good guys in the secondary. And they do some things schematically that are going to cause us some problems. So, um, like I said, I wish it would be as easy as Andy said, but it, it certainly certainly isn't. Uh, you know, we're we're definitely going into this game as the underdog, um, and it's it's one of those games where if we don't show up to play, it could be a long afternoon for us. But our guys are excited about the challenge, and we're hoping to uh, move our program into that uh, top half of the league and, and uh, 
we're hoping that we, we show up and compete with those guys this Saturday.